So hey, I'm here at Fully Charged and I'm going to say let's talk sustainable delivery. And I'm here with Ollie Krohn from DPD. Ollie, tell me, how many electric vans have you got on the fleet just now? So Paul, we have 1,505 wow. at okay. the moment. Precise is, is to be. We'll have 3,000 by the end of the year. Wow, that is a major step forward in transition, isn't it, on yeah. your whole fleet? How, is the, how many vehicles do you have in total? So that currently accounts for around 20% of our vehicles. Wow. By the end of 2023, we'll have 5,000, and that'll be up to about 35 to 40% of our final mile delivery. It's fleet. a significant investment. Yeah. Can we talk money? How much money have you sunk into those? Close to 90 plus million pounds Ouch. in electric vehicles, yeah. deploying them throughout our network. And, and how does that compare in terms of the cost of ownership and, and your experience of it in the early days? So th these vehicles aren't cheaper, no. you know, there are some savings but they're still not comparable to our diesel vehicles. We currently actually take the cost of those vehicles um, when and we don't pass it on to our drivers, our right. owner driver franchisees that drive yeah, yeah. these vehicles predominantly. So Ollie, as lovely as vans are, I know there's a lot of other things going on to reduce uh, and improve the sustainability and nature of, of deliveries. Yeah. Tell me about that. So Paul, we have 100% renewable energy at every single site wow, in DPD great. and have done for a number of years. We That doesn't stop us from deploying solar panels so we have over 17,000 solar panels across oh, our business wow last year we generated 1.75 million kilowatt hours of wow. renewables our operation typically operates in the hours of darkness so what we do is feed that back to the grid and then buy it back when we need it so okay. we're also providing renewables to other people you know when we're not using it so yeah. it's really important we do that with looked at our optimization of our deliveries to ensure that we're minimizing mileage, right. reducing pollution in those that aren't delivering in electric vehicles, yep. making it efficient. Yep. And there are 9 million DPD app users. Wow. Yeah. And with that app, there are plenty more in-flight options. That means if you're not going to be in, you could leave it at a safe place. It means that we're not then going and delivering those parcels uh, a second time. It means that that journey is one first time delivery so we can be more efficient with that as well and i've used that myself excellent when the options come so i think we get i get the text and yep. and then i can go oh no just leave it in a safe place yep. happy days it minimizes that coming yep. back fantastic there's two more points i have to include about come the on, DPD app. It on. so <laughs> one you will get a green notification instead of a dpd red notification when it's on an electric vehicle ah okay and Look out for that. with the app you will start seeing a tally of deliveries via electric vehicles. So when you reach 10, we plant a tree for free for you as an app user. So when you do 10, 20, 30 onwards, last month, 1,800 trees planted at our cost. Wow, that's great. Okay. So it sounds like sustainability is absolutely at the very core of what you're doing. It's not just about vehicles. It's not just about one no. or two aspects of your vehicles. Uh, or the, the whole delivery operation, but you're thinking about every aspect of it. To achieve a net zero ambition, you need to look at everything. It's not just the vehicles. Yeah. And a number of years ago, we always had a one, two, three box strategy. We love our boxes because we're a parcel right. delivery firm. You've got to remember that. We added a fourth box, and they're all different colours. That fourth box was green, and that was to aim to be the most sustainable delivery business in the UK. Okay. So that there's that's in the core of every person's daily existence in the business. We, Wait, who's going to measure that? that? Who's going to make that decision? You. Me. I've, I've got to measure that okay. as a business. Fantastic. You know. Well, I look yeah. forward to you <laughs> sticking that up in writing and saying, we are the UK's most yes. sustainable. So quick question about the van. Yep. What experience have you got of the van yourselves yet? Is there, has, it been out in, uh, has it been out in action? So this, Was, this has been a pre-production model that yeah. our transport department has put through its paces right and our first 40 will be delivered later this month in wow. May yeah and then from then on it'll be the hundreds per month until we reach a thousand order of these vehicles wow. so Fantastic. it's 
I've got great hopes for this to be an amazing vehicle for the drivers. Today. Well, I'm, I'm hoping to have a look at it myself in this yes, very vehicle, yeah, yeah. have a little chat to you about it, and uh, tell you all the wonderful things that, you know, about the charging and the battery and how far it'll go, the tech inside of it. So check out that video when it will be up soon. Ollie, I have been thrilled to hear all about the sustainability of DPD, Sounds of the Zoe, it's right at the core of everything you're doing. Thanks so much for taking the time to talk to me. Anytime, Paul. Thank you very much for having me on.